Hey folks, this is Marcus from The Skeleton Key, and this is your weekly reading for September 23rd to September 29th. So this week we got a bunch of changes happening. We have the autumn equinox in the northern hemisphere, so autumn is coming, um, the harvest season is upon us, so this is a time when darkness will actually um, be a little bit longer, the days will be shorter, stuff like that. This is the time to actually start harvesting the things for winter for our own personal selves, but also for um, our spiritual selves. You know, what are, you know, some of us will start to do shadow work, some of us will actually start to get more deeper in our practice and look for answers to see what we can, what we actually do for um, ourselves and in our craft and stuff like that. We have a full moon on the 23rd, which is awesome, you know, because it's a harvest moon for the autumn equinox. Venus also goes, Venus also goes retrograde. Uh, Venus retrograde is a time when well, who we think we are in our relationships and our relationships to other things in our lives gets challenged you know the our finances our relationships with others sex <laughs> gets um a little muddied so it's a good time to challenge ourselves to see are we being objectified are we objectifying others and um what can we do to improve on that but let's get into this week's reading So the card that came up this week is the Six of Cups reversed and came out. the other things that came out of my box are the Master Key and the Lucky Rabbit's Foot. For many people who, for those who read uh, tarot cards, the Six of Cups represents nostalgia, wanting to go back to simpler times, reminiscing the things of our past, um, wanting to have things go back to way thing, the way things were. In this case, the card basically represents that we can't go back to that, um, to simpler times, to think, things that made us feel more comfortable, more safe. In this case right now, what to focus on is that we can't change what has happened. We can't focus on the past. Staying stuck in the past increases depression, increases uh, the chances that you can't grow from your experiences, that you are limited. The key and the rabbit's foot represent mastery of self or um, mastering a, a career path or a, um, a path of, of self-preservation. The rabbit's foot obviously represents luck. This week, help, focus, help yourself to focus on change to move forward. We can look back at the past at our mistakes or um, we can use them as learning opportunities. Am I doing anything that will help me grow? Am I staying stuck in my past? How am I cultivating my future right now? How am I using the luck that I have in order to master myself, master my skills, master my, um, my fears, and help them put, be pushed aside so I can move forward? Thank you everybody for watching this video and if you like what you see like comment subscribe if you are a local san diegan i i work at blackbird in la mesa on weekends as the local spirit worker so if you want a reading if you want a healing if you need any spirit work done um i will basically be here for that service we are coming towards the dark of the time of the year so if you need some guidance on where things are going i'm available uh readings are 25 to 40, 45 dollars um for up to half an hour and it's uh, 80 for a full hour. So other services um, are 60 flat. So if you need spell work, if you need a mojo made, if you need candle work or anything like that, um, you can always comment uh, or private message me as well. So until next time, unlock the magic. Bye.